Hello all. So now let's look at the amendment applicable for May 25 exam in section 9.3. So one new RCM entry has been added in section 9.3. So section 9.3 is basically a section which talks about RCM. So generally we know that in GST, generally it is a supplier who is liable to pay GST to the government. In certain cases, GST is liable to be paid by the recipient under RCM and in certain cases, it is to be paid by the e-commerce operator as per section 9.5. So basically, generally it is forward charge mechanism wherein the supplier will be liable to pay GST to the government. In certain cases, told in section 9.3, it will be the recipient who is liable to pay GST to the government and in certain other cases, told in section 9.5, it will be the e-commerce operator who is liable to pay GST to the government. So in that, one new RCM entry has been added in section 9.3. Let's look at what that RCM entry is, okay? So this is renting of any immovable property other than residential dwelling. So we have another entry in RCM which talks about renting of residential dwelling. Here it is renting of any immovable property other than residential dwelling. So it can be any commercial property, it can be land, it can be any immovable property other than residential dwelling. Where the supplier is an unregistered person and the recipient is a registered person, then it is taxable under RC. Okay, right. So what does that mean? Let's learn this with the help of an example. Suppose I have a land. Okay. Supplier, he has a land. He is a registered person. Yes, he has rented out that land to another person who is also a registered person. So is this renting of immobile property other than residential dwelling? Yes, I told it is land, right? So it is renting of immobile property other than residential dwelling. Now, supplier is registered person. When will RCM come? It will come only when the supplier is an unregistered person and recipient is a registered person. Here supplier is a registered person. So is this, uh, is this coming under our RCM? No. So in this case forward charge mechanism is applicable meaning the supplier will charge GST in his rent. Say for example if the land rent is 1 lakh rupees along with 1 lakh rupees he will charge GST of 18,000 collect the entire amount from the recipient and pay it to the government. So that is what is called forward charge mechanism. So that is a first case. Now let's look at the second case. Second situation. Yes, supplier is registered person. It is renting of immobile property other than residential dwelling. So example land and recipient is an unregistered person. Yes, so here also it will be FCM. Why? Because RCM is applicable only when the supplier is an unregistered person and recipient is a registered person. Here supplier is a registered person. So there is no RCM here. So this is also under FCM. Now the next situation, third situation. Third situation, supplier is an unregistered person. It is renting of immovable property other than residential dwelling and recipient is a registered person. Yes. So this is the entry which comes under RCM. So in this case, when supplier, if supplier is charging a rent of rupees 1 lakh, the recipient will pay only 1 lakh to the supplier and on this amount, GST of rupees 18,000 will be directly paid by the recipient to the government under RC. So this is the entry which is covered under RCM. This is the RCM entry. Now let's look at one more situation, the fourth situation. What if the supplier is an unregistered person, recipient is also an unregistered person. So in this case, it is neither FCM nor RCM. There is no levy of GST. So here, what you need to understand is, if it is renting of any immobile property other than residential dwelling, RCM is applicable only when the supplier is an unregistered person and recipient is a registered person. That is the only situation where RCM is applicable in respect of renting of immobile property other than residential dwelling. I hope this is clear. So see, service by way of renting of immobile property other than residential dwelling by an unregistered person to a registered person is taxable under RCM. So whenever you learn RCM, you have to divide that into three. First is you have to look at who the supplier is. Second is what is the nature of service? Third is who is the recipient? Okay, so renting of immobile property other than residential dwelling by an unregistered person to a registered person falls under RCM. So this is a new entry which has been added. Renting of residential dwelling. This is not an amendment. We already have this provision. Renting of residential dwelling. Generally renting of residential dwelling is exempt from GST. But in one case it is taxable and in that case it is taxable under RCM. Let's look at what it is. Renting of residential dwelling to a registered person. So supplier can be any person and it is renting of residential dwelling. Supplier can be any person. Yes. Nature of service is renting of residential dwelling 
recipient is registered person. In this case, RCM will be applicable if this recipient is using this building for his business purpose. Maybe for accommodation of the staffs working in their organization or maybe for accommodation of the managing director of the company. So for whatever reason it is, if it is used by the recipient who is a registered person for his business purpose, then in this case, it is coming under RCM. So this is about renting of residential dwelling. There is no amendment as far as renting of residential dwelling is concerned. It still remains the same. Our amendment is only relating to renting of immobile property other than residential dwelling. So this was not earlier coming under RCM. Now they have introduced this in the, under RCM in one situation wherein the supplier is unregistered person, recipient is a registered person and the nature of service is renting of immobile property other than residential dwelling. Okay, so this is the only amendment in section 9.3.